spring has arrived, more or less. Plants are coming into flower, the first insects are starting to emerge, and naturalists everywhere are dusting off their ID guides. Soon we'll be surrounded by all manner of biological wonders, but how can we learn more about what's out there? And how can we contribute directly to halting biodiversity loss? Sounds like a job for EcoSapien. One way to get involved is to take part in a citizen science project. Now, citizen science might sound like a creepy initiative from the Cold War, but it's actually a great way to conduct research. Citizen scientists are simply volunteers who go out and collect data. These volunteers come from all walks of life, ranging from veteran university lecturers to someone who simply once noticed a frog. Citizen science can focus on a number of different science topics, but what we're concerned with is citizen ecology. The data collected from this might include how many birds visit your garden in an hour, or cataloguing almost an entire ecosystem. But what's the point in citizen science? Why not get professional conservationists to do this? It's really a problem of money, and the amount of money available for this kind of research is displayed on the blackboard. The RSPB's Big Garden Birdwatch a huge citizen science project had almost 60,000 participants in 2012. To pay that many conservationists, the organisation would be bankrupt long before it reached its target. But is the data any good? Surely it can't compete with that acquired by mighty ecologists? Certainly, there has been scepticism in parts of the scientific community, so other parts of the community did what they do best – analyses. A large review examined over 200 citizen science projects and concluded that concerns about their reliability were largely unjustified. It's important to know volunteers aren't just turfed out into the wilderness with a survey sheet. They receive some sort of training, which can range from an ID chart to read through to attending several workshops. Most projects also built in some method of data verification, essentially quality control. For example, in the RSPB's Big Garden Birdwatch, if someone submits a record showing a flock of golden eagles in the centre of Leeds, that record would be filtered out electronically. The biggest recognition of the value of citizen science came in 2013 with the multi-organisational report The State of Nature. If you like your doom laden, check out our reference list and download yourself a copy. The report concluded that 60% of the 3,000 odd species examined have declined over the past 50 years. One silver lining is that most of our current understanding about trends in populations comes from citizen science data. And don't let the doom and gloom of the State of Nature report dishearten you. Knowing something bad is happening is the first step to solving that problem. Don't believe me? Ask anyone who's ever sat a maths exam. Citizen science projects also have some sneaky bonus benefits. The most important is educating and infusing people about the natural world. But citizen science events are also fun, and here at EcoSapien, we're largely in favour of fun. Let's take a quick look at three examples of citizen science projects you can get involved in, starting with the simplest and moving on to the more complex. The UK Ladybird Survey is one of the easiest to take part in. This project aims to map the distribution of ladybirds across the UK. All you need to do is snap a photo of a ladybird when you're out and about, upload it using the app, and enter a few extra details. If you're after something with a bit more substance, why not attend a BioBlitz? A BioBlitz is where a team of volunteers descend on a particular wild place and try survey as much as possible. Birds, bees, plants, you name it within a single day. Finally, if you've got loads of spare time, the BTO's Breeding Bird Survey is a highly involved citizen science project in which you survey one square kilometre three times during the breeding season, noting down all the bird species you see and hear. For a full list of citizen science projects, check out our website and be sure to send us any we've missed. Until next time, goodbye citizens.